Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the moon. I'm your host this evening, Lawrence Ray, and today I am joined by my wonderful co-host, Ricardo Martinez. But uh, more importantly, uh, today we have the pleasure of interviewing Renato Salazar, uh, long-time uh, youth development warrior at Elzante and Bitcoin program manager at Nonprofit uh, New Story. How are you doing today, uh, my friend? How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for, ha for having me. And Greetings from Hope House in El Sante. Greetings. Yes, uh, it's uh, awesome to have you here. <laughs> Thank you so much for being our guest today. Uh, I'm sure we've got a lot of interesting stuff to talk about for our listeners. Uh, but yeah, I guess first question to get us off the bat. Um, your background obviously is around uh, El Zonte and you're, you're working with Bitcoin uh, with New Story and, and before that you're at Strike. What's your story around uh, El Zonte and, and Bitcoin Beach? Like how did you first get involved in, in the whole project? Okay, first of all, I've been close to the community for several years before it started as Bitcoin Beach. You know, my friends here with, you know, Roman, Jorge, here being the leaders, the community leaders here. Uh, they start to work with the community, with kids, with uh, teenagers. So I was part of it, you know, helping them with some activities. And uh, it be suddenly it became a, it, it started to evolve the Bitcoin Beach concept, right? So the, then they started, you know, all the revolution with Bitcoin here in El Sante. And I was just, you know, like I as a how do you say? I was just looking around, you know. I, I was just part of it, but uh, they were actually doing. Uh, the whole effort of be creating the uh, financial ecosystem here. That's how it started. Gotcha. Was that like your first, um, was that your first introduction to Bitcoin or was it something that you'd dealt with before? Yes, it was my first introduction here. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Was like, well, I, what, if you're being honest, what was the first thing you thought when you first heard it? I want to know what your honest thoughts were when you're like, what the hell is this crap? Or is it a scam? Actually, or... yeah, that was my first, my first impression like, what the heck is Bitcoin? You know, it, it was hot ahead, you know, trying to send me, oh, come on, download this, download that, and, and I'm going to send you some Bitcoin. Was, so what am I going to do with that, right? But then I learned, you know, they taught me how to use it and, you know, how, how to, uh, actually it triggers, you know, the financial uh, side of me, you know, that open a re the reality of people, you know, that we, how the system works, you know, that's what it, it, it triggered on me. So what, no. it was pretty cool, you know, like a, an eye opener situation. Yeah, nice. I guess. Um, do you know how? Do you know how long it worked, how long ago it was that that Bitcoin kind of entered the the fold, entered the story of of El Zonte, like the the community project? When was that? I'm trying to think how long ago I first uh, heard about it. It was three years ago. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's three years ago. Yeah. I think I. Yeah. I think it was during beginning. Of, I think during COVID that I heard about it. Um, it was so right. That, right before. Yeah. Right before COVID. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's really it's pretty cool. Like um, that you had that introduction at that time, uh, especially when the price was a bit lower, so uh, you had a chance to you know, stack <laughs> some more sats. Um, I can understand how like you would it would feel like a kind of I don't know. I, I feel like it it would feel potentially like a bit of a pyramid scheme or something. You know, you, you worry your friends get involved in something, and then you understand it. You're like, oh, okay, no, it's not that bad um for sure and then for people out there listening i guess uh, we should clarify that, like bitcoin beach uh, is a local uh project uh, where like helping children learn to surf keep fit etc cetera, etc cetera. and then it, it's obviously like grown and become a, a project where bitcoin is like a, like a bitcoin circular economy um and is like a shiny example of uh, how it can help the local communities uh, gain financial independence um but yeah i um so yeah, you obviously you you're involved in that. How did you end up getting involved with with Strike? Because uh, that's kind of like uh, the next part of the story, I suppose. Yeah, um, you know, as Bitcoin Beach start to bring attention from Bitcoiners, you know, and companies and enthusiasts, or Bitcoin enthusiasts, uh, you know, Jack and his friend and his friends came to El Sante, and you know, and you know, they they learn about the community and they walk with us around here. And, and they say like they wanted to be part of this, you know, help the community because Strike is a, like a very useful tool for remittances. And you, as you know, you know, like, like uh, Lightning Wallet. So uh, I, we, uh, my friend and I started to work with them you know, here in the community and, uh, you know, showing people how to use Strike, how to use Bitcoin and uh, how they can take advantage with remittances. Like, you know, remittances here is a, is a big thing. You know, there's 400, 400 millions a year sent through remittances. So 
it's a lot of the GPD here. That's how it started with Strike. And then, um, you know, Bitcoin law became, you know, when Bitcoin started as a legal tender a few months later that, that, of that. So everything exploded here, you know. It, it brought a lot of companies, a lot of work, a lot of development, and, uh, and it put El Salvador in the, in the eye of the, you know, in the Bitcoin world. How have you, how many people are actually using uh, Bitcoin for remittances like that you know personally, um, as opposed to like the traditional rails like Western Union or whatever? Well, I don't have the exact numbers because it's hard to tell. You know, like it's like to know everybody, uh, like everybody, you know, movement, you know, with their wallets. But uh, there's a statistic that said that in it increased like twenty five percent. You know, it would be 25 or 35 percent of remittances. Remember that we're still like learning how to use this, right, for our community, for our people, which is the 80 percent of the population that does that don't, don't have access to a financial system here. So we are we are still on that curve. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of learning to do for for a lot of people. Um, but I um yeah I mean. Well, I'm trying to think when I was there, um, it was November 21, I think, whenever the uh, adopting Bitcoin conference was. Um, yeah. But I was um, pretty happy with like, I've been talking to people, just general people, like uh, taxi drivers and stuff, and just asking like, hey, dude, honestly, what's your opinion? Is this thing a pain in the ass? Or is this something that, you know, you're interested in? <laughs> and generally people seem like at least open-minded. Like if they, you know, some people were a bit like, oh, look, you know, I, I haven't got into it yet, but I'm like, I'm trying to like understand it. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, these people are vaguely open-minded that I, that I spoke to, you know, varying ages. So that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I guess um, if you're if you're being honest, and obviously it's a bit of a personal question, so feel, feel free to tell me to, to f off. But um, if you're being honest, like how how much of the time are you finding that you use Bitcoin compared to dollars? Like, have you got like a rough like idea of like how often you'd use Bitcoin in your life? Is it like a lot or not much? Or how often do you do I use it? Yeah, it's... like do you do you like live on Bitcoin or dollars <clears> or <throat> mix or I don't know. I'm just interested to find out. I will say a mix because I well I do my bill payment through bitrefill using bitcoin of course <laughs> and uh i get to i get to pay some stuff you know also on different restaurants you know where well strikes has some promotions some good deals going on so we take advantage of those gotcha okay yeah so it's like um i suppose it would it would be I, I guess it, uh, where it makes sense, right? Because with bill pay, there's like an incentive to do it. And then some restaurants don't accept it. Some do, as you said, some have deals. Um, so sometimes it is just, you know, uh, easier maybe to spend your fiat, um, spend your dollars, uh, especially if a place doesn't accept Bitcoin. Uh, it's like a big hassle. <laughs> I remember sometimes when we were going around, it was like, you know, part of me is like, yeah, I should be orange pilling or whatever. And sometimes, but then some of me is like, yeah, I just want to eat my fish and leave. Like, <laughs> I just, want, I want to go on my day. I don't have like all day to orange pill people. Um, so that's the reality, I guess. But okay, no, that's cool. And I, I suppose, um, so yeah, I was going to ask you if you use a bit refill, but obviously, the answer yeah. is yes for like uh, yes. bill payment um, and things like that. When did you first hear about BitRefill? Actually, I'm just curious now. Like, this isn't we don't usually talk about BitRefill that much on a podcast, but I'm just interested. Like, when you first uh, heard about us? Well, it was here in in El Sante, You know that you guys. I don't know if if it was Sir Sergey that, that came came here. So that was the first time that I they heard about BitRefill, and then you know, uh, you guys start to do more work over here. You know, getting more uh vendors or brands you know into your into your app so it, it became a big deal you know I, actually you know when strike started here people was using bit refill to get you know uh video game you know access free fire <laughs> free fire yes. free fire diamonds i remember that period yes, diamonds <laughs> diamonds that was the thing yeah yeah, free fire diamonds. That was like a like a, a like a internal like currency, like a joke, like internal currency. It was like, oh, free fire diamonds are them. You know, that's it. You know, that's that's what you yes. want because there was so many free fire diamond like uh, cards getting purchased. It was just like it was this sort of thing. Um, I remember that. Um, so yeah, I guess you yeah you ended. It's quite cool. Like you ended up obviously yeah you're helping the community stuff. You end up working with Strike. Um, what was it like? Many community based stuff and like any kind of marketing or anything, or was it was it mainly like just kind of community management sort of based stuff or what was the role what was that role kind of like working with them uh you know it was more like uh, it started like a brand ambassador you know like brand ambassador that's how we started and then 
when the when the Bitcoin law started and you know they open an office in San Salvador and all the you know it, it required a, a infrastructure a stronger infrastructure so I, I became a partnerships manager so that was my my job right there pretty cool by the awesome. way yeah it's really cool yeah, yeah, yeah I imagine damn okay that's, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's an awesome way to like, because especially when you're starting as a brand ambassador and then you work your way up, um, it's pretty cool. Um, yes, you get to know a lot of people. You know, you know, you know how it is the Bitcoin environment and how people is very passionate about the work and about you know the the freedom and you know financial inclusion. That's that's what that's what I what I love about Strike. Yeah, I can understand. That. Hey, I mean, I started a bit refill. I think like three hours or four hours a week as a brand ambassador. So, uh, <laughs> and then I've slowly, you know, progressed. So, uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of know what you mean. And, and so what you're doing now, obviously, yeah, the, what you're doing at Stripe was, was awesome, but now you've moved on. So yeah. please, uh, free free to tell us about your, your current, uh, project. Well, what are you working on right now? Who are you working with? Uh, give us the, the lowdown, explain it to um, me as if I've never heard uh heard of what you're doing um and yeah as if i'm the audience basically cool well uh new story is a non-profit organization that give access to families to get their homes you know the families that lives in in inadequate homes i don't know if the word i it's pronounced it well so the idea is to to give them the tools so families can can get a decent home at the end of the day that's it you know because you know how our culture here in central america uh, families don't have access to any bank service. That's, you know, same as, as a financial inclusion, right? So big refill, I mean, sorry, new story. New story gives the, gives the tools for that. So we are providing homes for families at this point. And here in El Sonte, they're going to pay the micro mortgage using Bitcoin for that home. So this is a big thing here in, for, well, for the community, for El Salvador and for the Bitcoin community, of course. You know, providing homes for people. Gotcha. Yeah, I saw I saw something on the website about mortgages uh, on the blockchain and and like about Bitcoin. So, like, what's your what's your kind of your your role is obviously as the um, Bitcoin program manager. Um, like, what is what what was that? Like, what would that encounter like, encompass? So, what, what's kind of like your overarching goal, right? Like in that role, and and what's your kind of like day to day kind of thing like? Because obviously, it's Bitcoin program manager isn't the kind of role you see on every job board and so it's interesting to hear like yeah. what that's about like what you get up to yeah because not uh new stories is not a a crypto company right so i'm i'm doing the the developing the bitcoin program what is it about is that um, we're gonna teach families how to use bitcoin so they can pay so that how how they can use bit refill actually because that's something that i wanted to mention that uh we're gonna work with with, with bit refill so families can pay through bit refill their homes so basically i'm gonna teach families how to use it and i'm gonna be um how do you say this um i'm i'm starting since the since the very beginning of the construction until you know families get you get to know how to use by themselves to pay and how to use bitcoin right okay so yeah okay gotcha so it's kind of like um yeah you'll help oh, okay so yeah i'm, I'm just getting, rationalizing it in my head so you'll help kind of project manage yeah, so there'll be, say, for example, you've got, I don't know, a random number, 20 families and, uh, you know, the, there's been like donations, et cetera, and they're trying to help them kind of start up. Obviously, you'll get come in at like, yeah, as you said, the construction phase. And then it's like kind of helping them essentially get ready, get prepared, like learn to pay the mortgages, et cetera, with Bitcoin and the bills and the things they need to do. And is it is it that like a new story will be kind of accepting or ha is accepting already like Bitcoin donations as well? And so that's why? Is, yes. Is that, is that what yes, they are. They, they are uh, that's how it started actually because they receive a donation of bitcoin and that's how i well i wasn't part of the team at that time but that's what triggered you know to start you know exploring this path you know to use bitcoin and receiving payments with bitcoin so um and i i'm sorry that i didn't add this i mentioned this as the it's not only to show people how to use it but you know it's starting from how to download the app what is the best, you know, uh, use that you can have for your Bitcoin wallet? You know, how it's not only for paying, you know, how you can stack sets, you know, it's financial education at the end of the day. And actually we have right now, I'm sorry, that we have right now 120, 126 families. That's gonna be first, first, first phase 
and at the end of the at the end of the year uh, next year it's going to be around 400 man that's uh, that's awesome that's really awesome hell yeah 